okay. Now, we have a, uh, a fairly nice running code here. If we saw from the last video, we start off with 10 coins. We can make some bets. And we can bet again. And notice how I can, we can clear the screen. We had deleted the screen and it came back. And this time I won. And, uh, we can just play this game here. <coughs> And uh, let's say uh, we terminate it when we hit no. <coughs> but uh, let me let's care for, since it runs at least fairly nice for right now. Let's run through this code one step at a time here. <coughs> so it, we include these two libraries here, and we use the namespace std like we've always been using. And then we get to this code here. This allows us to generate random numbers here. This should be the first code that's going to be written here. Right, right off the bat, if we use random numbers here, <coughs> this statement here. So first, we declare a couple variables here. Here they are. We have some coins. We got a bet, a chance. These are just integer types here. We have a boolean. We have a choice. And we'll we'll see these how these come into play. But just keep in mind that they're there. <coughs> so first, we're gonna say while play and coins greater than zero. So now this is the uh, AND operator here. Now remember that both statements have to be true for the AND operator to work. I could have also used the OR operator here. That means only one has to be true for it to work, for this thing to be true. So we, we could have had uh, several different ones here. Several different conditions and only two could be false and one could be true. But uh, only one has to be true for the work for it to work but since we're going to use the and everything has to be true so everything is going to have to be true in here so play has to be equal to true which it is and coins it has to be greater than zero <coughs> which it is okay so at first this is true here so we have coins is equal to 10 10 is greater than zero and play is equal to true so that while loop is going to be read this while everything in this whole thing is going to be read as true as a whole <coughs> so first we output the number of coins, then we output a bet. Then, then it says enter. A, it says enter a bet. So there, it's waiting on for us to enter a bet here. Then once we enter a bet, let's say we enter five here. <coughs> so let me run this again. So just like it says, we have enter a bet here. Now the, the program is stuck right here. Or it's waiting for the user, which is me, to enter a bet. So when I hit 5, it's going to go on to the next bet. <coughs> it's going to go on to the next statement here. In this case, it says... It says, chance is equal to rand mod 2. This Since it's rand mod 2, we're, we can only output two possible values. We can output a 0 or a 1. Well... Now, I, I arbitrarily chose that if chance is equal to zero, I said you lost. We could have made it say you won, too, but I chose that you lost. Okay, so let me just go down, scroll down here a little bit more. So we lost. <coughs> and then uh, we get coins minus the bet. Coins is equal to the coins minus the bet. So we have coins is equal to 10, which is what it is now, minus 5. Now, this is going to output 5. And it's going to skip this else statement overall for right now because it said the program just said that we lost now so after we lost it says you have and it says the coins the value of coins coins it says you have five coins in this case coins happens to be five so it prints out a number five here <coughs> then it asks us do you want to do you want to play again we get to enter a choice here now I'm using a character variable here so we can either enter yes or no. Well, actually, we can enter any other character. But if it's not equal to yes, let's say we enter. Do you want to bet again? Let's say we enter yes. Well, does yes not equal yes? Well, that's a false statement. Because right here, y is, does equal y, right? So this is false. This has to not equal y. Like we could have entered any other letter for this to be executed here. So we're going to skip this statement too. 
we're going to skip everything in here, which is only one statement. So we really didn't need these uh, braces. Now we go to the system clear screen, CLS. What this does, this clears everything. It erases everything back to the blank. Now we go back to the top of the, this is the end of the while loop here. So we, now we have to go back up. All the way up to the top, then we check this again. Coins is still greater than zero and play still equals true. We still want to play. So now we go back here and we print the same thing again. Let's say I enter bet four. This, this time it says I won here. <coughs> so right here, chance was equal to one this time. Well, so right here, this part is equal to false here, right? So we skip this whole statement this time. Then it says we're just going to execute this else statement because this was false. This is false up here, so if it's false, else, we're going to do this. It says we won, then we're going <coughs> to we uh, increase our coins by the, the what we bet. So now, now we have nine coins. <coughs> so now we're going to ask us, do you want to play again? So let's say I enter a, uh, a character like Q. Well, the program terminates. Well, let's see. Well, does Q not equal Y? Well, that's a tr true statement because Q is not equal to Y, so it's true. Now we say play equals false. Now we clear the screen. <coughs> now we get up to the top here. And then uh, we say, well, play is equal to false here. Well, that's all we need to know. Okay, so this part here is equal to false, and that's it. Okay. Then we get back to here. <coughs> now, notice that this, this this part here didn't work because we use the CIN operator here. Now, anytime you use the CIN operator, the send get doesn't work anymore, and that's why we have to switch to system pause. Uh, I keep on doing that. And <coughs> so that's the explanation on this code here. Now, <coughs> so let's say we have five. You lost. Do you want to bet again? Yes. Let's say we bet four. You lost. Do you want to bet again? Yes. Let's say we bet one. You lost. You have zero coins. Do you want to bet again? Yes. Still want to bet. But it terminates. It clears the screen. It says press any key to continue. Because right here, when we got to the top of the while loop, I still wanted to play. The play was true. But my coins, zero was not, my, I had zero coins. Coins was less than zero here. Okay. <coughs> well, that's basically it, so. <coughs> um, so we learned about the clear screen. We learned, and we learned about these, uh, actually we didn't learn about those yet. These are escape sequences here. This is going to be the character for new line here. Just to change this up here, this is the same thing as if I've done this. Now it's the same thing, but it's just a shortcut. <coughs> and I would recommend using them. But it does the same thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be using this from here on out. And there's more of them too. Coming up. So that's the explanation on this code, and uh, <coughs> we'll continue on with uh, our programming here in the next tutorial.